Okay, this is part two now. Um, so, the last video was me sort of blocking in this character. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm taking it up to the next subdivision level. And uh, I'm just trying to sort of get a nice sense of detail on this character's flesh. Uh, and because he's a mutant, I'm sort of thinking about how the skin is sort of deformed um, in such a way. I don't know, like, kind of like it's been boiled or it's just sort of you know, like you know like when you sort of get out of like uh i don't know say you've been swimming or something and your sort of fingertips are all kind of saggy and well, I, guess, I guess it's kind of like old skin when it sort of wraps around muscles a lot sort of easier because it's i don't know not as elasticated as sort of new skin just that kind of I don't know, it just doesn't look very sort of aesthetically pleasing so i always tend to use that sort of theme on most of my monster sculpts plus you know it's it's not a nice thing to look at when something's uh, sort of creature's flesh is all hanging around and it's all sort of you know not new and stuff so uh, yeah I'm just using clay build up and uh, I'm using alpha 6 so I get a more sort of smooth flesh like um, flesh like texture on the skin I guess so, I, so when I sort of block in I use a square alpha just because it's a lot easier to sort of create new forms using the square brush but I just always found it to be a bit nicer doing that uh, and then depending on what I'm doing on the sort of higher resolution stages I'll change the alpha uh, in this case it's uh, alpha 6 as usual so uh, yeah you know just, just going over my old sculpts my old sort of detail and smoothing it out and making it more appealing and stuff uh, detailing the face here just making sure all the forms are sort of correct and that sharpen up some details here and there and they also enhance the uh, the idea that I had before of the uh, the skin um, sort of wrapping around his skull and bits of skull hanging out and stuff like that so just have to do a bit of a refining that eye he's got like a closed sort of really angled eye on the concept art so I'm just adding in there I need to add it stitching in there on but yeah just making everything look more sort of tighter around the uh, sort of bone areas where you can see his skull uh, just, you know, getting that across his teeth as well I wanted to try get a lot of teeth showing through so people could relate to what it is um, yeah, that's pretty much it just go ahead I think there's a point as well where I play around the size of the skull as well but I think I just left it for now and just carried on you know, doing something else trying to get like a nice sort of uh, overall kind of there you go just making the uh, I thought it'd be cool to have more of the skull visible around the top of the head just to make it more interesting instead of having just a large sort of bald skin on his head but the concept art it does have hair as well so I'm going to be doing some hair uh, later on during the texturing phase but uh, yeah I think it looks more sort of gruesome with that detail on the top as well so did a bit of that uh, and then I just do the uh, the arm, this arm, the more human arm just trying to refine that a little bit but I think I probably need to go over it a bit more maybe I don't know I, just, I don't think it looks quite convincing uh, at the end of this video but uh, I also need to sculpt out the hands so I'm just going to do it in that part I think most of the muscle groups are there but it just some of them look a bit dodgy um, I think the forearms looking pretty decent in certain areas but uh, there's just certain parts of it that I don't like so I'm probably going to redo the arms a little bit uh, like I said though, I didn't do much work on the hand I uh, really need to go back into that and detail it but you know it's just all clay build up and uh, just making sure I'm hitting the right forms and stuff um, playing around with the uh, the joint how it joins, how the shoulder joins to the pec it looks a bit dodgy before um, the, back of, the back of his deltoid looks a bit dodgy as well there need to sort that out uh, I got really sort of stuck on this bit, so I might have to get some reference on there. Cause I, I just I couldn't figure it out at all. I think what I ended up with looks okay, but uh, I think when I actually lower his arm down, the line might look a bit dodgy. So I'm just gonna play around with that. Uh, adding in, he's got like a some sort of small belt around his uh, bicep, just below his shoulder on this arm. So just adding that in there and uh, making sure the skin looks. Um, appropriate for it to, you know, it's bulged out and stuff.
you know, I'm just trying to be really sort of, I don't know, just think about how it would look like in real life and just trying to sort of best match that up. So, yeah, just doing his mutated arm now, trying to make it nice and bulgy looking. Not sure what texture I'm going to add on that when it comes to it, but I, don't know, I was trying to sort of hint at the humanness of this arm, you know, adding like a forearm and whatnot in there, bits of tricep and that. But I think it just looks, I don't know, I think it looks okay, this arm. Just need to add a bit more texture on there and a bit more sort of details, but I ain't got to that stage yet. Uh, try to make his deltoid look like it's under a lot of strain as well, so I think that's going to look cool, but other than that, that's all I've done on this arm so far. Just added in some sort of nice bumps on the, on the fingers a little bit as well. Uh, but I really need to do work on the hands. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much what I got up to on this sort of, I think it was about 90 to 100 minutes of sculpts. Um, but that's pretty much all I managed to do. Uh, yeah, it's getting there now, it's starting to sort of take shape a lot more. I think the head's going to look awesome when it's done. Got good ideas for that. But that's pretty much it for this part. Cheers for watching.